Turning now to a brand new puppy, folks. Nipping and biting is pretty normal behavior for puppies, but how do you teach them to chew this <laughs> and not my finger or my shoes? Oh, that's happened to me before. The puppy expert, Elizabeth Bennett from Believe in Dog Bennett. Trainings, is here with tips to help you handle all the biting. And we are joined by Tex Adelphia, of course. I have Oreo. And then we have Theodore. This is Theodore. Us. Yes. And Stephanie, great to see you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you this so much. This is a very common issue. People get a puppy and it starts to bite. Yes, indeed. And so, you know, it is puppy biting, puppy nipping, but I do like to try to say puppy nipping only because when we say puppy biting, it almost it's like an infer like they're a trying to hurt you, right, but they're right. actually not. You know, it's a very natural normal It's a normal thing puppy for them to go behavior. through. Absolutely. And almost always they will grow out of it as they mature, but it's absolutely necessary you see this they've got these puppy needle teeth and it's very very necessary they need it so it's absolutely not about trying to make them not do it it's about let's do something else okay well let's get started with some of the tips and what we need to do with our puppies when we're in sort of the nipping stage yes. what do we what do we start with obviously these little chewies yes so the oh yeah so we got always have a lot of different things for them to chew on first of all I want to make sure that my puppy is getting enough physical exercise and mental stimulation right so physical exercise is important little small increments of play fetch walkies stuff like that to make sure that they're not just too, their body is not bored right? right they need that and then of course mental stimulation I need many many puzzles training nose work all kinds of things like that they've got to have their brain worked and their body worked just like us and, and the things oh, I was I'm, gonna say to be clear these dogs all have owners yes they do oh, yes start they calling do. because <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you right now Oreo I might just put her in my pocket oh, she is a heartbreaker yeah. she's adorable yes. and some of the items uh, that you brought with you Stephanie these are things when you say like problem-solving puzzles are these some of those examples yes yeah, see there's some these are some of my favorites I've, these are all tried and true and so there's a couple here that are food and puzzle so they're chew they're chew material and they're also meant to be made into a puzzle and so some of my favorites so like a Kong an original Kong is a very very common one you see it's a it's a material that they can chew on but you stuff it and make it a puzzle like also. Size, that's right? right Cheerios peanut butter all kinds of stuff this is a squirrel dude he's the same kind of a thing only he's got little teeth in there so it makes it a little harder for it to get out this is a knobbly nubbly so these are chew and puzzle so I could actually put those in the crate with them because they're chew material also okay now some of these others are just brain just redirect my brain to do something else so they're not absolutely meant to be chewed on but they redirect their brain away from chewing on something so it's all about redirection don't chew this chew that or don't chew this do that do a puzzle here's a puzzle snuffle mat ooh Snuffle ball is our new favorite thing. It's really, really fun. What is that? It's just going to roll around? Yeah, so you, we've made this. See, we've tied belt all around this ball that has little holes in it. Oh. And then we stuff treats in there. And then as they roll that around, little the treats, treats come, come out. out. Yes, and this is a snuffle mat. It's a mat with the same idea. It's like nose work and grass. It's like foraging, nose work, that kind of stuff. They love it. They love it. And this is a bobble lot, which is also just to redirect um, getting their food in and redirect their brain. And then last but not least, we've got the chews only, right? Okay. So these are, I wouldn't like. They um, are busy. Yes, and <laughs> these are supervised kind of things, um, not to be left in the crate with them. Supervised. So Tex has his bully stick, which is his favorite, of course. It has quite an aroma. <laughs> it, <laughs> That one is particularly stinky today. Um, and then uh, Oreo and Theodore have these things called no hides. Now we've decided, um, we discovered that raw hides are not the best um, for them anymore because okay. they're not so natural and they're e not easily digestible. More plasticky, right? Yeah, so someone created these things called no hides. And what they are, they're like rice flour and different kind of ingredients, but they act and um, like no hides and they're, I mean, raw hides, and they're actually very <laughs> good. Theo is going to, to town. <laughs> I love it. So these these are, so again, I can just sit right here instead of you chewing my fingers, yeah. then here, how about this? Just hold this and chew on that. Because they've got needle teeth. You see these baby oh, needle yeah. teeth? Sharp. And they, they are sharp. No, they are. Just like our kids, you know, toddlers, our kids get overtired. Do puppies get overtired, oh overworked? God. Just exactly like a toddler, just exactly the same thing. So if they get overly stimulated, if they haven't had a nappy or enough, and they just too much play, too much going on, you can tell it's just like a cranky toddler. So it's time to, that means, okay, let's have a little nappy. Let's have a little positive timeout. And when I say positive timeout, I mean, I'm not going to go, oh, I'm so mad at you. You go in here. Anything like that. It's just, I love you very much, but you're a little cuckoo right now. So here's something to choose. 
tissue, you're going to go in your crate or your pen or something like that, just to have a little nappy time out. And very quickly, uh, Stephanie, if someone does, you know, like you, you're going to pick up your puppy, inevitably you're going to get nipped. Yes. If that does happen, how do you redirect the dog at that point? So if they do get you, so it's very important, they do get a lot of feedback, right? So almost naturally, if they get you, you're going to give them natural feedback. And so I do, you know, when they play with each other, they give each other natural feedback, which is good. They need that feedback to understand that hurts me. In the form of a bark or a yelp. Yes, and so that. I would do the same thing. I mean, you're actually probably going to do that no matter what. So they nip say, and ouch. say, ouch! Right? And then the very second they stop, pretty dramatic ouch, you know, really dramatic, mm -hmm. so that the second they go, oh gosh, sorry, you go, yay, good dog, thank you. Oh. So that then they start to learn, oh my God, these people are so sensitive, I better be careful with right. them. Watch yeah? where I chew. <laughs> Stephanie, always great information. Thank we you. appreciate these little snuggle <laughs> bugs today. And to connect with Stephanie, check out the scene thank on Houston you. Life section of our website. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Sorry, Oreo. <laughs> she is a Come home with me.